Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Strategic Command World at War where we're still battling the Allies and uh, yeah let's continue where we left off in the previous episode so it's now August the 28th 1942 so we still have a reasonable ways to go let's try and take care of things in China first we did take care of the particular unit in Pauto we'll be taking that and these few forces are going to move up on Urumqi Let's see if we can take down these guys as well. It really depends on how much we can move these though. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Yeah, and you guys can't even get there. Alright, that's fine. We have time, so it's uh, nothing to really worry about. So let's take that city too to deny them little bit of points let's see let's attach you and you still need to attach some other units we'll have to take care of it in a bit let's take a look at those partisans because they are here and then I've taken care of those but I need another no oh, they don't even have partisans up there hmm I guess I don't even need that, that second one up there, but yeah, I guess I'll keep it there nonetheless. No, oh, that, that seems a bit strange to me. They don't have any units there anyhow, so I'm not too worried. I'll just deal as much damage as possible without actually being cut off. I uh, will have some of these other guys go from the south and let's reinforce okay they still have a couple of units around here and I would have liked getting those guys up there but I guess I can just move then and we'll see about the destruction of those units there later and these units will have a difficult time repairing anyhow uh, so I think I can actually send this core over to the border with Russia as well and these guys already did attack guys can to reach that particular area hmm. all right I will leave the rest of these guys over here except for the core they will go back again because I want them to be in this particular area maybe I can give these guys some elites that's that's great and they can still be upgraded all right let's do so there we are, we have these guys that are gonna stay at Vladivostok because that's the most important objective around there and the rest of these units are all pretty much fine. I need to get this HQ out of here but I don't want to strategically or I don't want to operate it because it costs too many points so I'll just move these guys like this. Alright, this situation up here is quite problematic. I'll get them back up to seven, but I don't like the way things are going down here. I mean, these guys are toast. I really need some reinforcements up there, though. And the only way... Yeah, let's place you here so they can actually take care of this. So what I'll do... I need to retreat somewhat, or... Only back to seven, huh? Get these guys on the rails so they can be transported up. So I will have more forces there. And that's quite important. I... 
guess I will... If I attack and then retreat, that's just going to be no good. But repairing these guys to ape also doesn't really help me. They're entrenched. I will have to allow them to take... To retake Chittagong. Or just move here. That's exactly what I did not want to see up there. I think that's quite possibly the worst result that I could have had there. And Wow. Alright. Because if it was at 6, I think I could have actually left it there. But at 5, I don't think there's any way I can keep those guys in these cities. I really need to retreat there now. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll just continue invading these territories up here. Because that didn't go very well. No, that's not very useful. They're going to go on a transport and definitely going to send them up here. I can... These guys actually need to join the war effort over there. They can go on a transport, but these guys can. Oh, that was the wrong kind of transport. Well, just wasting my points. <laughs> Great. I uh, didn't see regular transport then. Hmm. All right. This is a five strength unit. Why am I not allowed to see what that is? It's like, okay, it's a ship. How's it called? The 21st, yeah, 21st what? 21st ships. Uh, okay, it was a garrison. Fair enough. to Australia no, we're still trying to take New Guinea they should be out of supply they're at five supply hmm that's a bit up thought I destroyed that port I hope to get a little bit lucky, but nope, that's a shame. Kind of need an HQ there, but I uh, maybe I have a spare HQ. Let's just take these guys. down and next turn these guys can actually take over and make sure that these guys are in a bit better supply over here meanwhile i'll go for the support and that's pretty much it i already taken this i might actually be able to take this too without too many problems All right, taking Guadalcanal, and you can't go anywhere because you don't have any points anymore. Fair enough, fair enough. We'll have to save up once again, and we still need to transport quite a few units too, so we'll be busy with uh, this for quite some time, I think. Just keep those guys in port. I kind of want to get these guys back to our level 10 
port or yeah exactly you guys can't move these guys neither because I, I really want them to get out of here need you in a good port as well these guys also need to go well actually there's another unit over here and I kind of need to make sure that I can take down these guys too doesn't have to be now need to keep destroying their ports so at least they're very weak and then hopefully next turn I can attack them and or use my aircraft carriers I'll see how how much weakened these guys is in order to take Port Moresby but I do plan to take it relatively soon now that I've taken Water Canal we will have that as well I still need to take Nauru that's pretty much the only island well except Midway but um, yeah, Midway and Nauru are the only American. Oh, never mind. There's also Samoa and the Fiji Islands. So there's still quite a couple of uh, things to take here. Either way, let's continue on towards the Italians, which I've apparently already taken care of previously. Same for the Africa Corps. All right, fine. I've apparently already done some stuff over here. But we'll have to see because I don't. Doesn't seem like we've already done everything. I'm still looking to destroy individual units. It's 0 and 1. Maybe I can destroy this army here. If I'm. Getting a few decent results. Down to two. It's uh, perfect. Still need to get a unit down there, or they will retake it. Let's get you in there. Accent. I just need to keep destroying units one by one. And then eventually they will have no more units around that place, but that will take some time. Where would I want to put you guys? Uh, nowhere particularly. Only have to make sure that I take care of garrisons. Alright, let's reinforce you back up to 10. Excellent. Ah, that's not even that great for me. All right, let's pull you back so they'll be under a good supply again. And this is a bit of a problematic region, but I think if I keep my units like that, I'll already be fine. Seems like I already took care of things up here a bit too. These guys will be destroyed on the next turn. Unless I can destroy them here. All right, perfect. That's that's actually really good. I might have a chance of spawning a partisan, but partisans are a lot weaker. So I'm willing to take the risk. It's also only a chance. I'll pull you back. I have to reorganize these guys for a bit on the next one. But uh, yeah, I, I think we're looking pretty good here. Not attacking. All right. And if I move you forward, okay, then we counter. <laughs> okay, so that that wasn't very good. However, I do have a chance now of taking down that battleship. And since the battleship is the only thing they have, except for submarine. That would be pretty good. Yeah, okay, there we go. That one is down. We did suffer a bit of damage, but I'm sure that we can handle it. As long as I actually protect the carrier. Which I 
think will be fine like this. That would allow me to destroy that port, which is not very useful though, because Leningrad itself gives supply. It seems like, well, it's a secondary. I oh, know Kronstadt is the thing that gives supply, not Leningrad. So I think if I can destroy the, the Kronstadt harbor, this will also not give any supply. This is what it's uh, what it looks like. Hmm. That would make my job a lot easier there. So I'll send in the navy again because that battleship is gone now. We did they have the submarine, but that's okay. They're gonna try and take care of that. I will definitely repair you back up there. And we still have 403 left to purchase units. First of all, for Germany, once again, I'll purchase a garrison or two. Actually, three might be better. Then I also want to go towards research for the Germans once again. And let's see what we want to do. So advanced tanks already maximum. Uh, long range aircraft, sure. If we have the points, yes we do. Great. I really think that when it comes to this game, it's uh, quality over quantity. You can have a lot of weak units, but they all won't be able to deal any damage. And well, once that happens, you know, you're, they're useless. Whereas if you have very powerful units, at the very least, they'll be able to dish out some good damage, and you'll be able to to win at least uh, some engagements. That set you to hunt. Yeah, I'm back out there. How about these? Also back to hunting mode. It's just going down. I want to stay sheer clear of the enemy ships. Hunting mode, they can just stay there, they're all fine. You guys will move. Oh, okay, they already moved apparently. That's <laughs> sometimes it's a bit confusing. And you're gonna go into silent mode and just get out of there. Alright. I mean, this is. Not particularly necessary, but why not? My OCD compels me to do it. <laughs> As for the Italians, I think that they might go for some research too. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go for some naval warfare. There we are, so we've taken care of Africa. We've taken care of the submarines, except for down here, I think. Yeah. There we go. There's still some submarines down here. They're also busy. There we are, they're down to eight, but I'm gonna send them back once I've taken over more territory because that will make it easier for them to regain supplies and things like that. All right, so checklist, submarines done. Russia done, Africa done. There's still a submarine over here. That's on a fine spot. Done. China is done. And this is a bit of a disaster. Let's just call it like that. Because quite frankly, this is a disaster. I didn't expect so many British units, to be honest. And uh, and they're all Indian Corps, so there's just part of their regular army. We'll see how... Uh, how that works out but uh, that didn't go very well and like I said I do expect to get some of my units destroyed or well, we'll see but I'm bringing in reinforcements so hopefully we might be fine in the long run all right Japan celebrates the capture of Guadalcanal excellent Solomon surrenders so the Solomon Islands are mine 15 MPP not that much Transjordan surrenders as well. Great. Okay. And they keep getting free units. And another free unit. Okay. 
British man, those raid the Bergen in Norway, they keep going at it. That really doesn't matter too much. They might damage my unit there, so I'll have to repair it then. Churchill accuses Gandhi of being in the service of Japan. Ugh. The Red Orchestra Espionage Group is broken up in Berlin. Italy develops industrial technology level 2. That's also great. And that's pretty much it. Don't get anything from Burma. Hmm. Right, so we get uh, 360 MPP for the Japanese right now, so that's pretty good. Once the war in China is over, I'm sure we'll get a lot more, but since they're still fighting, that's a bit of a problem. But I'm sending everything I've got after them. Yeah, they're taking that, but that means that it's a unit that's not attacking, at least. And since I have reinforcements coming in there, I do hope that I might be able to salvage the situation. More troops coming in at Stalingrad. But I would even almost say that we're surrounding Stalingrad this way. Now I'll just keep destroying these units. And if they keep repairing their planes like that... Ooh, okay, but they're not attacking my core with that unit then. I'm definitely retreating up here. That's actually pretty interesting. That's uh, you know, I didn't expect to get that much opposition. I actually thought it would just be another steamroller, just like the rest of the game has been so far. Because let's face it, there hasn't been any real opposition so far. I, mean, I know that I'm playing on the regular difficulty, but... Like, uh, I haven't really felt at any moment that I was already under serious threat. But it's September 11th, 1942. Even the, the submarines are still going quite strong, which historically already was a huge disaster by this time. Trying to go for this unit. I'll surround uh, the tanks and destroy them. Right? I dare say I find that uh, a bit odd, but okay. Yeah, they still have plenty of units around here, though. That's how it looks like to me. That's a lot of damage. Hmm. I wonder if they're gonna put another unit in here and attack. Yeah, they certainly are down here. Although I'm quite sure I do get more MPP than the Soviets right now, so I, I actually think that we're fine. Uh, ooh, okay, good, no damage. That's a great boost to their uh, morale, that they're actually, you know, they're faring okay still. I have to keep my fingers crossed, I don't want to jinx it. Definitely not. Fine. Yeah, well, you're you're back. Let's just keep it that.
Okay, so far so good. Again, not a whole lot going on right here. I think actually I forgot to move the reformed uh, third panzer that actually got destroyed a while back. Oh, they're buying more units, huh? Well, planes are not that bad. I'm fine with it. Uh, why is it always bad weather? <laughs> why? You really have uh, only th you know four or five good weather turns in Russia. It's just pretty bad. All right, there we go. No more complaining. I mean, we're still doing okay, so there's there's no real reason to to cry over it. Let's just continue and uh, start beating these guys. Defensive artillery? Well, that's not gonna stop me from taking Narva now. Finally, after all this time. Great. So, next up is going to be this army, which has gotta be a challenge. Let's look to lower those entrenchments a bit first. And I am actually gonna try and destroy this. Does letting. Leningrad gives supply itself. It really doesn't. Yeah, these guys are doing very poorly right now. Alright. I did use those. Okay. Now with Kronstadt no longer giving any supply, they should be in even worse trouble. Okay, unit down. Move those guys close, we'll start shelling those units up there. And of course these guys are in good supply, so that will be a bit tougher but I don't I mean I do care about these units because they're at Volkov which is also national morale uh, position strength here Ugh. five one only these guys are at six okay, let's put you on Riga which gives six supply let's take a bit of a peek here now what's mine's get self I have to be on the physical hex in order to get supply from there unless I'm attached to an HQ Need to at least keep a unit there too on this spot so I don't get any partisans. Same goes for this spot, and that's why I do actually need those. I'll send these over to Moscow. I think actually, that's a fine spot to be in, quite close to the capital. Yeah, I need to keep a unit on that. Uh, I. We'll send you back for some repairs and then we'll ship them somewhere else. Actually, I think I'm fine over at Leningrad. They will they will fall before long, so I want to focus on the front now in Army Group Center. Let's see those odds. In fact, got them off here. Then I think they'll be in poor supply. These units at least. And then I... I uh, I'll be able to destroy them all the much easier.
that's at least the idea so i will use these to go down and then destroy those guys and we then pretty much only have mask out self left no destroyed units this time could copy to viasma itself it's probably better not attack yet they might actually go here and then attack that thing that would be a, a bit problematic i'll move you to fill the, the gap these guys should move back a bit you in there so I, I think these guys will be fine now too let's make sure that you are back to 10 then <laughs> wow okay I, I cannot even cut them off that's that's absolutely ridiculous I mean just ridiculously bad that is uh yeah, well, attacking at that point is also not that useful, so never mind. All right, let's just uh, go down here, I think. Let's try to cut off these guys. I'm sure it will work up before long. Hmm, doesn't seem to be a unit in Matumi, so I have to take that too. I mean, all of these towns do give a little bit of MPP so I, I might just as well go and take them and the only problem is up here where my supply for these units is just uh, too bad because this HQ is unable to support them well so I kind of need more troops down there but I just, I just don't have them uh, because the enemy keeps attacking it's just a bit of a problem because they have they have too many units pretty much and because of the bad weather now it's uh, pretty challenging to take them down should still be able to destroy at least one core in a bit further let's get you to the side upgrade the fighters pretty good all right yeah they can be upgraded well that does Kind of take care of Russia again. It's a, uh, it's a slog. Let's uh, just keep it at that. They, they have a lot of units still. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll soon get the Hungarians to m move further back up again. So we'll get an extra two armies and a core to start dealing damage over there. Once we've done that, I think we'll be able to take Stalingrad soon as well. At least that's the idea. Let's attach this too, because they're not doing very well. I am encroaching on Baghdad. Perfect. I'm starting to get some trouble with the supply here. I can't cross here, huh? Yeah, sure. And because we're moving too fast, rather, uh, for the, the towns to catch up with, uh, with supply. Which is a bit of a problem. Okay, let's take Port Sudan so that prevents them from actually using that as a supply base. And 
Also for, for trading and shipping and things like that. I, I think they actually use it for that. Let's try to get out here. Excellent. Okay, we went straight through. Good, good. I will actually reinforce them for a turn at least. Because I think they really need that. Uh, do I want to declare war? Or no, I don't want to declare yet. <laughs> yeah, perfect. They might switch it up and then start attacking that again, but that was my uh, my own fault. All right, I think uh, though that that's going to be it for this episode. So I have taken care of a lot of things back there. Let's see how these guys are doing. Four supply, huh? That's not the worst, but. Come on. I mean, I, th I think I have a shot here. Take a port more speed. And can I move in there? Come on. Yes, I can. All right. So that means the East New Guinea will also see to the Japanese. That's great. And we can now focus on New Caledonia. So these are French, I guess, uh, Polynesia. And we'll move along this line. I'm not going for Australia itself just yet. I really want to take all of the surrounding islands first. This is also French, huh? Before I, I really focus on the big target here. Uh, I might even go for New Zealand before Australia to completely cut them off. But we'll see. I'll, I'll continue to move down. So uh, things are going according to plan up there. In China, yeah, we're also, wow, we're also doing quite good. Just destroyed that unit in one go. All right, there we are. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here. So I want to thank you all for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this part. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode. So take care and see you there.